All right, y'all, what's happening? Got the Arma Creighton 6S, completely M2 CFI'd. I'll go over the car at the end of the run. I'm gonna be running multiple cars today. I have the jackhammer once again. Let's see what's up. I got a blown tire, but we're gonna let her eat. I just won't pin it too hard. <laughs> How's everybody doing out there? Leave in the comments. Two blown tires. This car's awesome. Oh my God, I almost did not pull that one out of the hat. I pushed the trigger to, to make it come back around. It didn't do anything. This is one of my first MTC builds ever. Come on now. This used to have that Dunlop body on it. I like changing things up. Ha! <laughs> it's a mild run right here. Fun though. She just shut off here. Yeah, I knew I was gonna have issues. I still got steering. Oh, see? Something's up, man. I think my receiver might be bad because I turned it on, it sat there, cleared everything, but I had steering, it's no pat, no forward. No forward motion or reverse. And then all of a sudden it just took off. The receiver could have got wet and a little corroded. Corroded. Monster Fronty with a little burp of the brake to finish it off. Get you some meat pit muscle, baby. Dumb shit. Nothing like a roof landing right in your face. Thunder roof fans are kicking. Got two 18Ks on there on the motor. Didn't have any 27s, so I put two 18s on. We'll see. Oh, wow. Now that was a noser. That was a 140, 150 foot noser. Get you some of that. Come on now. Ooh. She shut off on that one. Come on. Get it done, son. Sloppier than hell, but we'll take it. All right, y'all. We're gonna wrap it up. Go grab another car. Ah, one more jump. Oh. Yes, uh, this is the way she's supposed to be done right here. Drive her back to the house or gator. Catch you all in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace out. Just wanted to show you guys real quick. The motor at the back is 133. About the same in the front. The ESC was at 105, 110. These Thunder Roos work, y'all. Even the 18Ks, I just doubled them up. All right, y'all. Got the jackhammer out here. Nice. Whew, so good. hot. Oh, I did gear up two teeth. Forgot about that. Gotta really watch my temps. Damn, I can't see shit. Look at that, I'm backing up straight. Imagine that shit. 
No good. Uh, it's not hot yet. Come on, girl. Hold it down. Try not to get into it so hard, maybe this next time. That was pretty awesome. Whoo, man, it's hot, y'all. It's like 98 degrees out, like 105 heat index, if not higher. Oh. Shouldn't even be running these damn cars. Nice, nice. Dirty eyeballs, man. Gah! I'll walk for that one. Nice fronty. Come on now. That was badass. <laughs> oh, how I landed that, I don't have no clue, but it was killer. Whew. Almost just tagged a damn fence over there. Ooh, y'all hear that wind? <laughs> Love it. Get some. Jackhammer that booty, baby. Jackhammer that booty, LVC. Yeah, it's all you see. All right, y'all. Made it back up to the house with these jokers. The jackhammer was way under LBC. I should have stopped earlier. It's a Sledge XL M2C made a chassis that's 2.3 inches longer than the stock Sledge. It runs two rear center shafts. I made it for an Arma battery tray and receiver box along with the Arma servo mount, which is pretty awesome. I did try to run this truck with the GPS today, and I couldn't get this thing to work. It would go about 100 feet and shut off. So, I don't know, I gotta read up on it and see what I'm doing wrong. They also made new towers to accept the new tower to tower brace, which is awesome. You can run the Arma Creighton cage support, or you can change it and put the Talon Outcast support on if your body needs that kind of support. You can pretty much, they got where well, you can mount it all. New body post in the rear. They also made them a little bit longer as an option for the XLs. You can run these in the front as well. I just opted to run the Arma body post in the front off an outcast. That way I could use the same holes on the body. I'm running a machete body at the moment. Trio bulkheads front and rear. Trio hubs front and rear. ZRS shock kit. Castle Mama Monster X 8S running on 8S with the new Castle 1721 1260 KB. I geared up two teeth so I'm running 46 six spur 25 pinion it's way too hot in florida right now to be running that kind of gearing so i'm going to drop it back down to a 23 i didn't have temperature issues on a 23 but today she got up over 200 and i'm praying the motor didn't lock up i mean it's still good but you know how it is man you overheat a motor one time it's it ain't ever right after moving on let's jump all the way down here to my m2c affied creighton 6s this is my truck that had the dunlop body on it for the longest time this is one of my first m2c builds hot racing bulkheads front and rear high racing hubs front and rear m2c towers chassis chassis braces zrs shock kit vg racing springs front and rear cvds are also m2c i just polished one to see how it would work out and i won't do it again 
They rust, unless you put a coating on them, and I'm not going to go that far. The RPM wing mount and skid design is working flawlessly. I've run that on pretty much all my car, all my cars now. This car is running on a 4,000 Ma 6S Socon. Thunderroof fans are working good. The reason I put them on this car is this is a 2200-4092 Hobby Star. I'm geared 18 on the pinion, so during the winter I can get away with that. Right now, I didn't want to gear down, so I put the fans on there, and it worked pretty good. Castle Mama Monster X 8S running on 6S. M2C top plate. That thing's badass. Vitavon bell crank. M2C suspension blocks front and rear with the captured pinch pins. M2C chassis looking all sexy with all the scratches. All right, y'all. I'm going to wrap it up. Anyway. We'll catch y'all on the flip side. Thanks for watching. And, uh, oh, yeah, 4,000 HRBs, 4S packs, running on 8S, the jackhammer. All right, guys, catch y'all on the flip side. Thanks for watching. Peace out.